Mahatma Gandhi once said, the true measure of any society is seen by how it treats its most vulnerable members. I've lived in two worlds I've seen. The wonders of the world I've seen men go to the moon and back I've seen men. Building the greatest wall I've seen men. Drilling the deepest hole. I've seen men not asking for a cup of water but Wi-Fi passwords. I've seen men finding water on Mars, I've seen it all. So what's the need of men going all the way to Mars to find water and a fellow man on Earth can't find water? I refuse to live in a world where it's easy for an army to disperse protesters with water cannons that have clean water, but it's hard to combat parasites that are living in water. I refuse to just stand and watch diseases with complicated names trying to complicate lives. It's sad to watch diseases that you only read about in theory being practical on bodies of the people that you care about. We can't afford to fail both on our biology exams and also fail in taking care of ourselves. See where I'm from, our drinking water is not only polluted, it's also electrocuted. And if I tell you how many people die from drinking water, you'll be shocked. I refuse to live in a world where sewer lines, clean water lines and illegal power lines run concurrently, apparently. I refuse to live in a world where men stay up late to watch 22 people kicking a ball, but there's a million people out there with legs too heavy, with the size of a ball and nobody's having sleepless night. I refuse to live in a world where we have free waterfalls, but not free water for all. I refuse to live in a world that the water we flush in our toilets are a hundred times cleaner than the water that other people are drinking. I refuse to be in a world where the water in swimming pools are getting a much better treatment than the water that our fellow men are drinking. And those are the things that make me sick. A man going without food for three days and that without water for seven days doesn't make someone strong, it makes you weak. I refuse to live in a world where politicians can go to the driest part of the continent to look for votes but not to distribute medicine or information to those that matter the most. If water can make it to the mountain, through rivers, to villages without proper channel, why can't men do that? I refuse to live in a world where creatures that can't be seen growing bigger than Hollywood movies and start creating sin. I refuse to stand and watch water taps running and others can't find water. If water is life, it's so sad, now it's included in a thousand ways to die. So when you go to sleep tonight, I want you to think about the people with worms that even Ali Bad are afraid to catch. And if faith heals, I think we should create more hospital in the church. I want us to think of the neglected people living with neglected tropical diseases.